Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This one is all about the 80s cars. We are driving A-class vehicles uh, made in the 80s. I have got, well, a very early 80s vehicle. A Fiat 124 Spider. This is a little bit of a mad spider, if I am perfectly honest with you. Uh, it has got a 3.2 litre straight six in it. It's all wheel drive. It's pretty damn light. Has got rally tyres. They're not the biggest rally tyres, but it does have rally tyres on it. Uh, theoretically, should be pretty good. Uh, now, the, the downsides for it may be controllability. Uh, small light cars can sometimes be quite the handful. Uh, being quite small on the tyre front, it might not quite have the ultimate grip through some of the corners that uh, other cars on equal rubber, so to speak, uh, may do in the world of Horizon 4. Tyre widths are everything, pretty much. Uh, big tyres are good, and, well, bigger the better, basically. You have three, four fires on a car, it's generally very, very quick. The Countach uh, that we see ahead, well, I mean, that gets like three, four fires at the back, but tiny front tyres, so that can be a little bit of a problem uh, with making that car work. And I do have rally suspension on. I fear it. you'll see it ducking and diving around a little bit in the corners. It'll make it good off-road. Uh, however, it might make it a little, again, it might be a little sketchy on the on the tarmac. I don't really know what top speed is going to be like in this car. This is probably more of an acceleration machine uh, rather than outright top speed. Um, but my gears apparently are not geared for outright top speed anyway, so, <laughs> you know, there is that. Uh, we're going to have to try and get it stopped for turn one. We can kind of park it on the apex, not give the rover a chance to find a way past. Now, the M1, uh, I am perhaps not so surprised to see that going very well on the tarmac. Uh, however, you might find that that doesn't work on the dirt. Uh, ooh, you know, how you get a car to be very quick on the tarmac is a sneaky move from the rover. <laughs> the rover found a gap, it went for the gap, and it got itself to third. Come back here, rover. No, 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 we're going to push you around the circuit. I want that position back. We, we could do a sneaky maneuver back to you. In fact, we might just go around the outside up here, to be perfectly honest. Uh, brakes are good on the Fiat. We're still there. Uh, not quite going to make the sneaky manoeuvre there. We're still going to be on the outside. Nope. <laughs> going to play on the dirt a smidge. Right. Although we are going to get that run onto this. I think we are a little quicker than the rover top end wise. So we'll just say thank you. <laughs> I will take the third place back again. Can we go chasing after the Kuntash? The Kuntash is my teammate. Maybe if I keep the rover busy, we let the Kuntash sit around in second. And that's all absolutely fine. That was way too much speed through there. Okay, that was ambitious, not going to lie. I thought I could maybe get away with it. Uh, it was ambitious and it was rubbish, uh, but we only lost a position. We've apparently had a bunch of disconnections, which hasn't helped. Although I think we've had an even number of disconnections, which is something, at least here. Uh, carry all of the speed up the hill, possibly. And we are to the inside now. Much easier than trying to go around the outside of it. Previous lap. But the rover's going to keep... Basically, the rover's going to do what I did to it last time around. However, we should eventually pop out the other side with the position. I mean, this Fiat's not bad to drive. Not really, I have to say. It is uh, going pretty good around this circuit. Um, not quite as quick as the BMW, and I can feel it moving around some of these some of these corners. I don't know if I fully trust it. Can't really like, lean on it through the turns like I can with some of the cars. You can see how much more speed the Rover can take through there than I can. Uh, the Countach is out a little bit wide. Uh, if we had a few more, let's say with a few more laps, we might still maybe get one chance at passing the Countach. I feel like we've got the speed in our car to maybe have a go at the Countach. I think okay, lap speed we have, it's whether we've got position and time to do it. And we've got to be careful if we commit to try and pass the Countach, the Rover could get both of us, uh, which we definitely don't want to have happen. Although, points wise, we are looking pretty damn comfortable in this particular one. Uh, blue team's not really able to score all that many points here. Uh, okay, we're going to have to be brave, I think, at turn one. Basically, we're going to have to really lean on the car through turn one, hope that it sticks to the road somehow, and then maybe we will be close enough. Oh, and the Countach was a little wobbly through there. The Rover was also quick, though, this time around. Ah, my understeer through here is a little too much for the Fiat. With a little more front-end grip, it would probably be quite good. Uh, I'm going to be wise to that sneaky Rover dive bomb. <laughs> uh, it's, we, it happened once, 
We are not going to let it happen again. Uh, you know, certainly pace-wise, all three of us here are very, very similar. The BMW are a little quicker, but we're quicker than the rest of the pack uh, around this circuit. It's, you know, with the way these team adventures work, cars that work at one track do not always work everywhere else, or some cars are very specialised. There may be a specialised rally car in the midst, I don't know. Um, we are going to run out of this final corner. Unless we have actually had a really, really good final corner, a good final lap, it is going to be chase the Kuntash towards the line. We're actually quicker than the Kuntash down the straight as well. It's quick, but not enough. Lambo takes second. We will take a third position in the little Fiat. Uh, not a bad car, actually. Not a terrible car whatsoever in that one. We are going to take the points victory as well, uh, quite comfortably. Certainly with our top three being as quick as they were. It's always going always to help us. Let's see what the next circuits bring. So we head off road for our next race. The Ambleside Scramble is going to be the track of choice. Now, this is a pretty technical, pretty nasty uh, dirt circuit that we've got the cars running around here. My Fiat should be good. Uh, maybe a little bit worried about the M1. Maybe potentially worried about... Uh, none of these cars actually. They're all they're all they're all okay. Uh, well, possibly. We don't know. We don't know what's going to be specialised. Oh god, a long way, long way back. Okay, Porsche. That's basically done for. I would imagine uh, <laughs> that's going to have no PI and just starts right at the top of A class. That will have no off-road tyres. That cannot do a damn thing uh, here. And that's fair enough. You know, sometimes you build a car, you make it work at one specific circuit. I think it disconnected for the first race. So. Yeah, not going to worry about that too much. We've had a good start uh, in all of this. Can we do something other? Fiesta could be quick, a small, very short wheelbase, all-wheel drive, very sidey. <laughs> well, you can go bounce off the wall if you want. What is leading the way? It's the Rover. Oh, God, don't go out to chase down that damn Rover again. There's <laughs> no way to go around there. Now, who's going to hit the tree? Anybody hit the tree? Nope, nope, and yes for me. Uh, only a smidge. It's fine. Um, bugger. Just trying to be a little bit sneaky getting past the Fiesta if I could. And we could not. Well, my life is a little bit more difficult now. We've got to work a little bit harder. Trying to find a way past. I'm not going to throw it up the inside. I'm not going to do anything up the inside yet. But get a good exit. I mean, we're racing against our teammate, a smidge in the Fiesta. It's a good dive from the Fords. Uh, Sierra was not quite prepared for that one. Can we sneak down the outside? Nope. Cut. Ah. <laughs> we got a. <laughs> just. Oh, the front of the car is full of Sierra Cosworth at the moment. That's fine. We're past. Uh, we are going to. Slider, don't, don't drive like I'm not on dirt rally, remember. Fords are not dirt rally. Oh, we got nudged. No, not the second time is the pissing tree. Uh, <laughs> too many cars on the dirt. I thought the Sierra was on a really bad line through there and just couldn't back out of that one in time. I do appreciate they at least waited for that. We've visited the tree twice now at that section. The first one, my fault. Second one, very much not. Uh, can we go around outside of the Beamer? Nope. I have built an M5 before in A class, I think. Pretty good car. Uh, we will far our way past there, though move us up into fourth. Points are good for us at the moment, even with my various escapades into the scenery, even with the rover romping away at the front, uh, we do still have more than enough points to make it work. Uh, second, third, fourth, but hello Lamborghini. We sat behind you for a while last race, would you mind awfully if, no, nope, fine, okay, we'll just look at the back of the Lambo, it's, it's, it's gonna be okay. We'll probably get it turn one, got a couple more laps. Uh, I wonder if I'm lamp No, the lamp has got to be all-wheel drive, surely. It can't be doing this well on the dirt. If it wasn't, uh, we'll go, go, oop, sneaking up the inside. That'll put me to third. I think we have got the second quickest car on the track here. I don't know whether we could beat the Rover. It would have been interesting to find out. Sadly, we are not going to in this one. Just too, too far back. Ping it off the in... That's a terrible line through there. We'll just ping it off the inside. Lambo's having a look. Not going to make it work. The Fiesta's... So one of the downsides with a front-wheel drive to all-wheel drive conversion is you get a car that's very twitchy normally. You can kind of tune some of it out, but it's very difficult to, especially when it's as light as that Fiesta. A very quick car, certainly in B-class, filthy fast, kept front-wheel drive. Um, can probably be quite quick uh, in A-class for some things, but yeah, certainly the all-wheel drive, that thing is, is looking... It looks mean to drive. It looks difficult to get speed out of it. I can just change direction so much nicer. Yep, that's the wrong gear through there. That's... Uh, never mind. Can we duck underneath 
through here. And, oh, the Fiesta's wary of it. It covers that inside. <laughs> there may be some paint swapping. There might not be all of the orange left on my car in this one. The Fiesta's going to be up the inside. It's going to try and hold it. It's going to push us towards the wall. A little bit out towards the wall. We're still there. Not the tree again. I don't want to visit the tree again. Uh, we're on the outside of the final corner. The Fiesta gets a huge slide. And we are through. We don't quite have the poor, the poor 959. It's a lot out of its league. We will take second <laughs> in a ridiculous, ridiculously eventful race. Uh, oh, we've got the teams are all wonky. I didn't realise. Forza's forgotten how to count again. Uh, well, <laughs> either way, Rover takes victory. We take a second place. The Fiesta gets third. Red team do score enough points regardless. Two wins for Red team, and the Fiat is highly entertaining. So, up next, we head to the Astmore Heritage Circuit. This is a fast-flowing, challenging track. Outright speed is risky around here. While, yes, the top end is good, certainly down the back straight, uh, some of the nasty corners will come undone. The corner leading on to the straight is one of the bigger concerns for a lot of cars. Kuntash is going to understeer like a boat through there. Um, I... <laughs> I don't know what mine is. Mine's not all that grippy. The small tyres let it down a smidge. So, I'm a little concerned about my understeer through that. We've got a lot of work to do. We're from the very back of the field. Are we actually oh, we are completely dead last. Uh, the team's miscounting and being a bit messed up is going to make this a smidge more difficult uh, for... Uh, say for us, sometimes you have the smaller team can be advantageous in this, especially if the larger team has maybe a weaker car somewhere. You can actually pick up some easy points. Uh, we'll, I mean, all we can do is drive as fast as we can and hope for the best. Uh, we're going to get... Oh, no, we're all in ghost... Oh, God, bad bad time to come out of ghosty, ghosty mode game. That's not what we needed. Uh, little little trip to the wall. Fourth gear is probably going to work through that. The Sierra, very understeery. I'm very understeery, though, as well. Oh, it, was the, it was the Sierra that was behind us that first track. I didn't know what car they were driving. I hadn't, <laughs> hadn't really seen it. Uh, what have we got going on at the front? I don't know what one of our cars is leading. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure what it is. I know we've got the Rover in second. Um, podium is, I think, doable. The leader may be too far. Unless it turns out my car is ridiculously quick. That might be difficult to extract a podium from this one, but we never know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going on with the Ford. Well, that's one way to break a car. Uh, Ford is wiggling the front wheel around in the air. That's definitely a funky tune uh, going on there. It puts us up to sixth, at least, in this. Quattro out very wide and very slow on the exit. I'll just go around the outside of you. Thanks for that position. Uh, points are close. 50 points in it. Going our... Not going our way currently. We need one more place. We need that third or second. I'd take that as well if we could manage it. Uh, ah, it's the BMW, I believe. The M5 is sat in third. Ooh, that's, that goes the understeer. I knew that corner was going to be problematic for me. Maybe our, our hopes lie more on the Sierra than they do on me for this one. There could be gains further back, although not many, and 959 may work better here. Certainly the Sierra looks quicker. Okay, that's good news for us. The Sierra looks quicker than the M5 ahead. Uh, I can't really use... This track doesn't really suit my car's strengths. Uh, the Fiat all about that acceleration. We don't really get any low-speed acceleration zones around here. It's all kind of medium-speed, higher-speed corners. Uh, what's going on behind it? If we could get... Even if we could get the Kuntash past... That would be nice. Uh, we're going to see a battle for third going on. Well, well, they're both overshot turn one, actually. I mean, there's a battle for third. They've both screwed it up. And there might be an opportunity for a sneaky Fiat pass. We get both of them in one go if they keep fighting like that. Uh, so, <laughs> off-road antics from the pair of them. The BMW is twitching all over the place. No, I'm going to have to yield from that one. BMW's in the fence. We might sneak it up the inside. This is always a risky place to get a pass. One of the more difficult corners on the circuit, and I'm notorious for understeer at the moment. Uh, the BMW stuck on the long way round. It doesn't have the grip to make that one work. We move up into fourth. Uh, Points-wise, uh, we've now got lots of points over the next positions. We're 500 points clear at the moment. So that's looking good for us. Ah, the Kuntash also got a pass. So not only did we get third and fourth, we've got another two places there. The Kuntash got passed as well. Uh, that is good news. Can I do anything about the Sierra for third? Maybe. It's going to be a long shot. It's going to be a long shot if we can do it. It would rely probably on the Sierra making a mistake in this one. It might be a little bit of a lonely rest of the race here. Uh, Kuntash is doing, going well around here. Uh, I say that if you can get them working, they're not terrible. As I said, the understeer with them can be a real problem. Uh, 
front tyres on that. If the front tyres were half decent size, if the front tyres on that were half decent size, it would probably be filthy, filthy, ridiculously quick, and we'd probably not really want to race against it. So I mean, there is that, but oh, no, that's a fence. Stop, stop hitting that. Sierra's understeered. Annoyingly, the, call, the time the Sierra messes up is the time that uh, I am too far back. Hello, Cass. You're going to come and commentate as well, are you, buddy? Do you want to join in? Do you want to, do you want, do you want to have a go at driving the Fiat? He'd probably be okay with driving the Fiat. Uh, oh, Sierra wasn't very good through that corner. We were. We were very quick through there. Although I'm a sl slightly funky line for the final turn. Uh, we're both going to brush the... F oh, we both bounce off the wall. Yeah, I mean, they're certainly pushing that forward. I'm going to try and push the ball away. They are my teammate, and I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to do anything stupid trying to get past them. However, if we cause them to overdrive the car, then we're <laughs> having to try now. Here's the opportunity we were looking for. We get to the door and we will sneak past. However, the Sierra's better at these longer corners that are coming up. Although I hit the fence through there. Uh, that did not help. And the, our team car that's leading the way has got a big lead in all of this. Don't do anything stupid through this corner. Uh, we have the third position now. That is all I think we could realistically ask for here. I think the Rover is better than me around this track. Although hard to tell, we lost so much time early on, we were a bit far back. Um, this is a line of cars waiting behind. Do not mess this one up through the final couple of turns here. Uh, the Kuntash is... Yeah, Kuntash is, is matching us for pace. Maybe a little early on the brakes through here, but I wanted to make sure we got it stopped, got it turned. Sierra's there looking. If any of the corners around this track are good for my car, it's this one. This is where there's probably the slowest corner where we can get the acceleration. We understeer a little bit. Oh, the Kuntash is snuck past at the death. Did not even... <laughs> I was trying to look behind and not expect to see that one work. Kuntash is up to fourth. We will take a podium, though. It is third place for the Fiat. We had to work for that one. Definitely not the car's best circuit. However, it did do the job. The Rover took second. Uh, that Rover, pretty damn good overall. The M1... Ah, yes, the Tarmac. More Tarmac specialist M1. That would take the victory, of course. How could I forget? Uh, ahead of... Oh, the Sierra. Oh, the Forza did the finishing line position nonsense. But the Kuntash did beat the Sierra. Although we had a very good battle in that one. Red team take round three. And we do win the adventure overall. Blue team are now playing for honour. So, race four. We are heading back to... Well, part dirt circuit. The Greendale... Foothill? Greendale Foothills, there we go, I do remember the name of the circuit. Uh, now, it's always a challenging one here, the dirt section is probably only about a third dirt, if that, but the dirt section is very, very technical. There's a water splash, uh, very, very low speed corners. That is where the Fiat is going to be very, very good. There are then two very long straights, where the Fiat is going to be mediocre. No real high- oh no, there is one high speed corner coming off the bridge. That's going to be fun. Uh, I'm against the Rover. And I think these could be two of the main protagonists in this one. I don't think the M1's going to like the dirt. It is going to be a quick car, uh, but that's more built for the full tarmac. So we're not going to really consider the M1 all that much. It's probably just going to be, oh, Fiat versus Rover. I think we both ended up in the wall there, slow each other down. Or maybe it is not too bad on the dirt. Oh, we're going to punt from behind. A little help from the Ford in all of that. Yeah, maybe the M1 isn't too bad. Oh. Okay, well, the Fiesta's going to get to the lead, but I don't think... I think that's going to be too dangerous on the tarmac, almost, to work uh, through a lot of this. So, like, well, the full dirt, maybe the Fiesta's not too bad. Although it is very difficult to drive it consistently as it lifts its front wheel up into the air again. Uh, right, we are all in a line heading down the hill. This is the corner that I am worried about for the Fiat. Can we be not as quick as the Rover or the Rover? Ran a little bit wide. We know we've got slightly better top speed than the SD1. And we know the M1 is very bloody quick when it gets onto the onto the tarmac, so we've got to get far enough away to get the car stopped for the hairpin. We're both I sort of understeered a million miles past the apex, but we both did it, so I guess it's okay. Uh, and, you know, it's our teammate that's behind, so if the M1 is quick, at least, you know, it's a team car that's going to be scoring the points. Rover defends up here. It's going to be a very funky line for the final corner. Kind of parks it. Ah, that's a really annoying line. It's well defended, but it's super annoying. Here comes the BMW. He's going to get both of us. Uh, clever move from the M1. That's going to mug the pair of us. BMW takes the lead. We will move up into second, though, and we'll probably have to be... I mean, we're going to be fending off that Rover, I think, for the rest of this race. How... The question is, how bad is the Beamer going to be on the gravel? If it's completely useless on the dirt, we might be able to make enough of a lap time gain to uh, get ahead of it. However, it doesn't actually look too bad. So, Rover's sneaking up the inside again. Don't do it, Rover. Don't. <laughs> Not again. We are going to fight each other way too much, and that BMW is going to run away from us. Uh, 
Rover's actually got a really good line on the outside there. I'm surprised that carried the speed it did. It made it work. In fact, now the Rover's going to throw it up the inside of the M1. Doesn't Well, does get it stopped. We're now going to be too wide, almost three wide, leaving the dirt section here. Go on, Beamer, we'll give you a push. I can't do anything. I, the only thing we can do is push our teammate out of there. We get through. We both sneak past the Rover now. Uh, onto the bridge we head. The BMW's mostly more power than grip through there. I could carry a similar speed that shoots off down the straight. Here comes that SD1 once more. You know what? You want to go past, you have to go the long, long way around into the hairpin. Make sure... Oh, I looked a bit early, early, uh, early on the brakes. <laughs> okay, it was a little bit of a... There's a little nudge. Just, uh, just, just a little shuffle across the track. Not really intentional. It's just a line you end up on. Oh, doing that. I'm all sorts of wonky into that penultimate corner. The Rover's there. It's looking. I think the BMW's got this if we don't do something stupid here. Um, so if, we don't, if it doesn't do something stupid. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Okay, well, that can bugger off into the distance. That's fine. We are actually clear of the Rover now towards turn one. The Rover's not going to be able to dive here unless we miss our brakes, which we don't. They're a little wide. Uh, just a smidge. Just a smidge wide through that one. Next couple of corners. This is where the Rover seems quite good. I think... I don't remember what size tyres the Rover get, but it definitely does have bigger tyres. And again, it's there to the door. I mean, we're trying to carry all the speed. That's, that's as much speed as I can in this car. And again, the Rover's just got the grip. It's around the outside once more. It's going to do... That's a ridiculously good pass again from the SD1. I should have maybe... I said something wise to it, but I don't actually know if there's anything I can do to fend that off. But what we can do is get back underneath it for the run down towards the bridge. It's exactly... It's a carbon copy of last lap. Only difference is this time the M1's too far away. Uh, yeah, whether the Rover... I don't actually know if the Rover... I don't think the Rover probably could keep up with that BMW. I don't think either of us have an answer for it. So we will fight one another like lunatics over second place. Points are still looking good, actually, for us in this one. We will dive under brakes for the hairpin. This time we're not side by side. This time I get it stopped correctly. Uh, we do put a wheel on the grass on the outside, but so does the Rover. We've got one more lap around here. One more lap to try our very best to keep an SD1 behind us. Uh, that change of direction, not too bad actually. There wasn't really any gaps for the Rover to try and exploit. We have got a little a little margin now back. We are quite well clear of fourth. Kuntash is doing pretty good actually on the dirt. I wouldn't necessarily expect that to be a car that likes this track. The 2959s, funnily enough, not enjoying all life around here. That's a bit too deep into turn one again, isn't it? Uh, the Rover wasn't all that much faster than us, so we might we might for once not have to deal with the rover, although hitting that wall is not going to help us. I Maybe the rover's better through the water. That could explain explain matters slightly. That wall has given us some grief. Okay, well now we are going to have to find a way past the rover on this final lap. Where the hell are we going to do this? Uh, maybe off the bridge. Mm. So I mean, this is where we're good, but the rover is... Uh, the, the rover's used every little bit of track a little bit more. And is now further away. We may have to dive under brakes into the hairpin. That might be the only real option that we get with this one. Over goes. Ah, no, the rover's too quick. Rover's too far gone. Unless it messes up the braking into the final corner. That clip on the cobblestone uh, wall is going to probably have ruined a chance. Although the rover wasn't very good under brakes at the hairpin. We've gained a little bit. Oh, it's going to be tantalizingly close. I don't know if I can have a dive anywhere, though. I think we're a little too far back. The braking zones here are not big enough for us to really be able to do anything uh, through here. No, I can't do it. Uh, throwing the field at the course. We slide a bit too much. It wouldn't have mattered either way. And, yeah, we don't have, we don't have the mega boost button that we would need to get past the rover. It's going to be a third in the end. Another very, very good battle with the S. Me and the SD1 are super evenly balanced. That M1 is a bit too quick for us on the tarmac. But uh, anywhere else, uh, everywhere else, me and the Rover are crazy well balanced. It looks like the Countach are going to take a fourth place. In the end, the Fiesta, the wobbly weird Fiesta, is going to take sixth. Uh, just losing out to the M5. Where do we have the Quattro and then the Sierra. The Sierra's not doing quite so well on the dirt. 959s just don't have the PI to work on the dirt. It's 4-0 four, four for Red Team. But we're having some very good fun races along the way. So, the final round, last chance for Blue Team, I think I remember my colours correctly, to score a consolation victory. Could be a good track for me. Edinburgh Station Circuit, kind of some, lots of stop-start, 90-degree corners. Fiat should be quite good at them. Acceleration zones from the lower-speed corners. 
I don't think I can match the M1. I think that's a little, that's just too quick on these tarmac routes. Um, however, I mean, the main battle is going to probably be me and the uh, me and the rover. Although we are ahead of everything, at the, as I say, off the line. The Beamer is further back, uh, so we are going to try get these first corners as good as possible. Now, if we can sneak our way to the lead while everyone's in ghost mode, this would be ideal. Uh, if we can make the most of the ghost, ghosty, ghosty mode and get the position. I'm going to try and stay inside the M5 as best I can here because it's a little sneaky way of gaining an advantage, although it's too late on the brakes down here. We're going to be very slow on the exit. Uh, I'm glad the M5 was not able to quite carry as much speed as it might have wanted to or as some cars might have done. Oh, that's where my car's going to hurt. Through there is going to be difficult for me to fend off from the rest of the pack. Where is... Bloody hell, the M1's already up to third. I don't actually know where the M1 started. I didn't really see it. I don't know if I can defend from that car for this race. Now, this is a track you can defend at quite well. Uh, you can make it very difficult for a car to pass. It's narrow. Uh, the braking zones are not necessarily the longest. And you've not really got any long straights for a pure straight line speed overtake. Missing checkpoints, turn one here. Well, you can... Either of those chicane checkpoints, if you get it wrong, can get you in trouble. The M5 is uh, getting preoccupied fighting with that M1. Have we got a big enough lead here? Mm, it's going to be close. Yeah, M5. I know I, the, I, I know we, we're talking about racing a car that is technically our teammate. If, you know, if this was a very different set of circumstances, I wouldn't be slowing them down. However, we've won the adventure. Uh, we haven't had a win yet with the Fiat. So I will be defending as if it isn't my teammate, basically. <laughs> well, that's, 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 we, we, we want to win. We want to win with this car. Uh, so far, the Rover is up now into third there. Oh, I think the M1 may have hit the wall on the inside there. You know, we've suddenly got a big gap, a big lead over all of them. Uh, now, while they're not exactly behind me, I still have to be getting this right. I know how quick that car is. I can't afford to do that, really. That would run way too deep into the first corner. Not missing the checkpoint. It's just we lose maybe half a second uh, on the lap. Maybe not quite that much. I don't know. Don't hit the railings. There is a sneaky line there if you really want to be brave. You can dive across the inside of the railings. Uh, it's risky, though. I, I, I don't know. For the tenth of a second, it might gain you. Maybe a little bit more. I feel like the potential punishment when you hit the wall is quite a lot. Also, my car's quite understeering. I don't really want to risk trying to have to fire an understeery difficult to... Well, not difficult, but understeery, a little uncooperative Fiat at the inside, at the wall, potentially clonking it. Seems... Uh, unnecessary risk, shall we say. Uh, we are... We, of course, we're not pulling away, but the gap isn't really... isn't coming down quick enough, I don't think, for the M1 here. Which is good news. Don't do anything stupid into the final corner. It's a bit of a different car to some of the ones I've drive. I, you know, all-wheel drive rally tyres not exactly new. I do tend to build cars like that. Uh, I do tend to go for cars with bigger tyres, and you can really feel the difference in this one. It's really, it's just the front end is not that cooperative through some of these corners. Uh, despite it being pretty small, pretty light, it isn't quite carrying the speed uh, that I would like it to be. It would, I think we're faster than the Rover around here. Certainly, again, I think very similar, if not faster. That's not what we needed. Just slide the car off of the grass. Uh, okay, we may have company for this final lap. We may have to deal with that BMW for the final lap, which is not what I wanted to have to do here. Yeah, that slight brush on the grass is uh, not I not ideal. That M1 is really bloody quick. I will give them that much. Right, we are going to have to be maximum defending now. Here comes that BMW. Yeah, that's really close this lap. A little mistake by me, but it was quick anyway. Uh, so, we're going to park it on the inside through there. Uh, we get, oh, we get street furniture on the exit. That's not what we wanted whatsoever. The BMW didn't want to take that really tight line into turn one, though. That does kind of help me. <laughs> the Rover just clattered through the chicane, trying desperately to get involved. I mean, the BMW knows it's got opportunities. If anything, his best opportunity might either be this next corner, because this is where I struggle, or it might be the final corner because of the straight. See, again, I'm trying to take that tight line. If he didn't even hit the grass that time, we just got oversteer which I haven't really been struggling with all day in this car. Uh, now, that's another corner where we're slow. The BMW's there, but it's not quite able to pass me in that section. Uh, this is where we have got to be super careful. I really park it on the apex, make sure there's no room. Here comes that M1. We are going to chase it across the road. If you want to go past, you're going to have to go the long way around the final corner. We are going to be as late on the brakes as I possibly can be. 
We're gonna fire the fear up the inside. We park it on the apex. There's no room for the M1 to get past. It was a little cheeky defending in the final corner, but we will take the victory. <laughs> that was a good battle. That was a very, very good battle with the BMW. We had to get a little cheeky. We had to, yeah, just stop the car, park it on the apex. They wanted to do a cutback. They couldn't get it done. We will take victory. We do take the overall victory. Forza screwed up the, fin the, the teams a little bit on this one. Some fantastic racing. The Rover was there as well. It clattered into a fair few walls along the way in that final race, but... Uh, it was it was a good battle. It was a very good battle indeed. Kuntash gets fourth as well. Kuntash continued has done you know scored very very solid points in that sort of fourth fifth position uh, around here. Uh, there we go. Red team are going to take victory. The little Fiat did me proud. It's a nice car actually. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I haven't really used one before. Worked pretty well in this one. It certainly worked worked very well indeed. That though is going to be it for this video. If you would like to sign up and take part in the next one of these, you can via our forums. There is a link in the description. Find the Ferris versus the community section, and you can find all the rules and so on, how to sign up in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.